The banks are claiming that they are cashless. So we received two lakhs. तो उनको पेमेंट किया बाकी फिर पब्लिक को पेमेंट कर दिया आज कोई कैश आया नहीं अपने बैंक एम्प्लॉय को भी नहीं दे रहे हैं जब कैश ही नहीं तो कहाँ से देंगे मैं चार दिन से डेली चक्कर काट रहा हूँ दस हजार रुपये निकालने के लिए दिया तो फिर चार हजार दे रहे हैं चार हजार में बोले मैनेजर से करा के लाइए मैनेजर ने पास कर दिया वो भी नहीं दिया यार रोज कैश की प्रॉब्लम है कभी भी कैश नहीं आ रहा है यहाँ पे कैश आ रहा है तो आधे एक घंटे बांटते हैं और फिर बोलते हैं की कैश खत्म मैनेजर बोला धक्का मार के बाहर निकाल जिसको पचास दे रहे हो उसको कम करके हमें दस दे दीजिए तो बोल रहे हैं हम पचास जिसको दे रहे हैं उसको पचास देंगे आप खाता बंद करवा दीजिए But they refused to give me, as they said, only we don't have the cash. The RBI is not uh, give, sending us, so we will give you four thousand. As the first uh, payday after demonetization approaches, people have found certain time like queues before the ATMs and banks to withdraw their money. But the worst hit people, what we understand at this point in time, is that the domestic uh, the domestic help uh, and the delivery boys are going to be the worst hit as their payments happen in cash. Market में कहीं भी जाओ तो कोई पैसा देने को तैयार नहीं क्योंकि किसी के पास पैसा है ही नहीं. अगर ये फैसला मोदी सरकार को लेना चाहिए था तो इसके पहले स्टॉप इतना मनी आम इंसान का सोच के 125 करोड़ की जनता का सोच के निकालना चाहिए था दोस्त वो विजुअल्स एंड वॉइसेस दैट वो शॉट टुडे व्यूअर्स एस पेडे हैज अराइव्ड द शॉर्ट टर्म पेन कंटिन्यूज एंड इट इज जस्ट एज बैड एज इट वाज इन द फर्स्ट डे सेवरल पीपल लाइनिंग अप all salaried employees all pensioners are going to want to access their bank accounts in order to meet their monthly payments it is obvious now that the banking system is not ready despite reports of atms being recalibrated what we find out there is that there's no cash it doesn't matter if the atms are ready there is no cash to stock in those atms the currency has not arrived the question we are asking this evening is, is the banking system ready for payday and what will happen if it doesn't get ready fast enough joining me on the show today dr nasir hussain spokesperson of the congress party niranjan shetty representing the bjp clyde crasto the spokesperson of the ncp samir karabar is a tax expert with ebay india virendra kumar is the ceo of value research he's an investment expert debi goinka executive trustee of the conservative action trust is the citizen voice on this panel gentlemen welcome to this conversation virendra kumar i'm going to start with you We had several conversations over the last 22 days. We are now at payday. You've always talked about the fact that every individual should invest on a monthly basis because we get paid every month. We make all of our payments every month, so it makes sense to invest every month. All of that changes this month. There is no money in the system. How bad is this situation for the average Indian? Yes, cash withdrawal for your day-to-day -day expenses, and you know, the <clears throat> whatever we may talk about that you know, digital India, digital payment, and you know, we should be making or doing all that, uh, but we are not completely ready for our. You know, the demonetization was announced on eighth. After that, there was a the two-day leave, and you know, people had you know, the first week of the month we follow a monthly cycle. Our salaries get credited on the last day of the month normally, sometime on the first of first working day of the month. so there are people you know who are naturally dependent of, uh, for you know convention conventional reason and you know they will be completely short of ideas because uh, people you know uh, the, the, we don't have the system you know we are un, we are unlikely to be deriving any meaningful credit from the neighborhood and there are people who are completely dependent on the cash and the cash, you know whatever financial inclusion we may might be talking about but the fact is that people are not financially included even the people who had the jandhan account they have not been a user of that account and i don't think you know if this month somebody is credited his salary in his bank account even by your domestic help you credit the account uh, one may not she may not be able to he or she may not be able to access it so this is this is a fact of life and we are going to have a difficult time because going by you know uh, the state of atm the way you know i i have been watching the long queues there are banks you know on both sides of my office 
and there are not there are, there are not, there are not few banks in fact there are about 15 bank branches in this residential locality and i see people queuing up even since morning at, uh, since 6 37 uh, in the morning people queue up to access, access money and the whole thing is so badly mismanaged you know if uh, agreed that there was need for you know keeping secrecy but you know the calibration bit then the 100 rupee denomination which and the atms are always falling short of that it right. immediately get uh, you know withdrawn so this is this is going to be a nightmare let me let me bring in uh, another independent voice here samir kanabar tax expert samir kanabar simple question were we ready for payday is the system ready for payday uh Essentially, I, I, I mean, uh, if, if you ask me as a professional, obviously there were adequate uh, measures need to be taken. But today, if you look at corporates, uh, even in our organization, most of the salaries are paid through a bank uh, and directly credited, not even checks, uh, checks are issued. So, mm -hmm. so honestly, in today's world, we are seeing that uh, most of the payments have been uh, organized no, by uh, banking Sameer, system. That's, that's fair, that's fair. Even my salary gets debited uh, directly into my account. But how do I access that salary? How do I use it to make my monthly payments? Yeah, so I mean, that's a question apart from payday that how does one use the money and how does one actually claim a right? Because at the end of the day, you will always say that this is my money. Mm. I have entire ownership of my money and why, why should I not be allowed to use, which is fair. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, again, going by the same philosophy, no pain, no gain. Uh, if we have to look at it from a positive perspective, yes, uh, you can uh, see that, yes, there are gains. We may have to go through a brunt uh, for initial uh, three, four, or maybe even five weeks. But at the end of the day, if there is uh, light uh, or hope, uh, but, one but must... Sorry, you know, let's, let's actually just, and I want, I want to ask our panel today to focus on the problem of today. We're all facing, I'm personally facing an immediate problem. I need to pay the guy who delivers newspapers to my house. I need to pay the person who, uh, you know, who, who delivers, who irons the clothes. I need to pay the person who delivers, uh, you know, milk, all of those things. Those people, even if I give them checks, what are they going to do with those checks? If there is no cash in the system, how do we pay the people who work in our homes as, as maids or as cooks? How do we pay them? If I give them uh, checks today, what will they do with those checks if there's no money in the system? And I'm opening up this debate now to everybody. We've heard uh, the opening statements by both Direndra and Sameer. And our phone number is on the screen right now. Clyde Crasto, how badly uh, does the system need cash at this point? You know, I'll tell you something. This is, this is the first payday since the demonetization was announced. Yes. The demonetization was announced on the 8th of November. Hmm. We had just passed by the payday by then, you know, around that area. Now, the fact here is that this is the first payday. And the government has been trying a lot of things. Now, they have probably not anticipated this first payday. How do you not anticipate payday? No, on that's the first what I'm saying. Month? No, that, because if they had, they would have brought in a lot of money into, into, into the banking system. Now, let me tell you some stats here. You know, what we are looking at, and I'm talking about how the, you know, the banking uh, staff or the banking community looking at this. You know, we are expecting about 20 million people mm -hmm. in the coming week to queue up outside banks and ATMs. How are they going to look at that? Now, every bank, according to the bank, Okay, they need at least about 1.5 million rupees per day that needs to be disbursed to people who come there. Right now, they are getting approximately about 600,000 rupees. And in certain 200, places, we had, we yeah, had one so bank certain, manager just tell us he that, yeah. two lakh rupees. In certain places, they are only getting 25% of the day's disbursement. So the fact here is it's only going to get worse because every day the government comes up and says that we are working on something, it's going to get better. Mm. But the fact is you wake up every morning and you hear a different story that is sad enough to look at and people are going through a lot you of know, problems. We, we so must point I don't out see this fact, changing. We must point out the fact that I was told that platinum customers of certain banks are still getting cash. But the regular people, what is called the arm admi in this country, the normal average salaried Indian, and let me bring this out very, very clearly, salaried Indians are tax-paying Indians. They get TDS tax deducted at source before they receive their salaries. This, is, this demonetization should not be targeting them at all. Somehow, salaried Indians are queuing up outside banks to access those very same salaries. Nasir Hussain, were we prepared for payday? Yeah. Uh, see, we have been uh, asking a series of questions to the uh, government under uh, 
uh, Prime Minister uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. And one of these questions was that uh, we had anticipated that there will be huge trouble when the payday comes. Because it is not only the central government employees, not only the state government employees, it's also about the uh, employees working in private sector from daily wages to, to MNCs here in our country. So this is the time when everyone gets the pay. Someone was telling that payment is made in the banks, payment is made through RTGS, payment is made through checks. That's fine. But how does that payment, uh, is, how does that payment uh, one withdraws and how does one pays money to his dudwala, to his uh, guard, to his maid, to his newspaper wala, to his uh, security guard or the maintenance in a flat where he is living. So one has to in, yes. in, in turn pay, uh, make payments to these people. So how do I withdraw my money from the bank one and how do I make the payment? You know, the government keeps increasing the, limit, the, the value, the, the limit of withdrawal. That is the there's whole no cash. question. Right. I, Right, right. No, there's, there's something that's come to light, you know, very clearly. Now, the, you know, people do not have enough change in the market. Mm. You know, when the banks are asking the government to send in 100 rupee notes, not enough is coming through. So what is happening now is people who go to the bank and when they withdraw their money, they are given 2,000 rupee notes and the people are refusing that money. They said, where do we take these 2,000 rupees? Because if you're going to go to the market, right. we're not going to get change. You know, so the situation, a, a, no, and they are, it's angering the people. There are places in Tamil Nadu, Bihar, UP, where, you know, people are, mobs are gathering together, shutting the bank gates, saying that more people should not come in. And, you know, we are here, we give us some money. So it's leading to a situation where it's going to be mob hire, which is going to come out and right. it's going to lead to you know, a fatal I, I, situation. I have one question. I have, uh, you know, the, the group of people whom I'm really concerned about at this point is senior citizens and pensioners who also yeah, receive their pension true. at the beginning of the month who should not be made to stand in line, who should not be, uh, you know, inconvenienced when they access their own cash. Debbie Goenka, what, what stories have you come across today of people who are having trouble accessing their own money? Well, I haven't met a single person over the past three weeks who's happy with this government decision. But I must say that our Prime Minister has managed to achieve his goal very, very quickly. Hmm. The government wants a cashless society and I think today we are in a situation where there is no cash in our society. So to that extent, you I think that the government is extremely successful. Thing, is it? And uh, you know, the people in my office, the people who work for me in my house are <coughs> really in a very bad shape. Uh, my maid doesn't have a bank account. Uh, she has no access to the system. In fact, she came crying one day and said the Diwali bonus and everything that she had been paid uh, there's no way she can get rid of it also and deposit it into a bank. And uh, these are the people who are really, really suffering. Uh, if you talk to the taxi driver, to the people in the market, uh, their turnover has uh, decreased dramatically. Mm. Everybody that I've come across is suffering. In fact, the only positive thing I can say about this whole exercise is when I drove down to Pune, I didn't have to waste time at the toll naka and I saved about five, six hundred rupees not paying the toll on the expressway. Well, let me point but out that's to a about lot of all that I can say. The international airport has begun, uh, you know, collecting uh, parking fees again. So there, there was a huge uh, traffic jam at the international airport because there wasn't enough change or there wasn't enough cash to pay those parking fees. Niranjan Shetty, you've been very quiet up till now. Respond to what's being said. And the real people <coughs> who are having real problems, and we'll invite people on the phone right now to share their experiences, both good and bad, because we want to hear about what, what's happening in the country today. Dhananjan Shetty, what's the response to 22 days after the announcement, the system not being ready? We've had enough time now. <coughs> no, I would like to respond to Mr. Devi Goyanka, what he was trying to put it in a very sarcastic manner. I think it's not the situation what he's trying to say. A maid... Uh, um, citing an example that she is unable to get her the bonus. I am also having such kind of examples where hawkers are having 10 lakhs of rupees and he is not having a bank account and he has not been able to deposit to one of the bank account. Now these are the situations what is at the ground level. Now if you expect that he has not opened an account, is the uh, government responsible for it? <clears throat> I think it's not the government that is. But is it a crime, Niranjan Shetty, no, to what, not what open I'm trying to say, no, these are the majors. The, this is the basic. This was the base because of which uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi came out with this no, no, concept. So, Niranjan Shetty, let's, let's make this very clear. Was the, the was this action against black money 
or was this action against us who don't have accounts? What is the aim of this process? Let me come back. Now, you will think that I am making a political statement. It was during the era of Rajiv Gandhi when the computerization was started. Hmm. Was it not at that point of time also it was uh, hooted out and everybody has said that this will not work? And what was that the Congress did for so many years? After computerization, what is... And yeah, I, I rightly... It, there wasn't I had a day that we woke yeah, up and I they had, said that see, if you don't me, have a computer, no, you can no, no longer no. work. There yeah, was a transitionary now, period. Today, to see, see the difference. That was what I'm trying to bring into that fact before you. Secondly, during the Indra Raj, it was the... All the ba banks were nationalized. What was the purpose of uh, doing the uh, banks for a nationalization? Every person should have had no, no, an okay, account. So I'm going to bring now, you back today, to the we point. Are, yeah. we are I want to say two things. Not even my maid is having an account. You are a very learned no, no, person. No, no. You could have taken an account of her. No, my, you could have taken care account. of her. Niranjan Chetty, she has... I'll, I'll make two points I here. want to actually she, make a, a point. A, she has an account. But if I give her a check or I transfer that money and she's not able to withdraw it, you what see, is the is point? That is not the grim situation no, the what you are trying to show. I agree that... Second I, point that I want banks, to make is, yes, is, it, is it a like crime to not have a bank no, account? That, is that it a is crime to not have a bank account? People who have bank yeah, accounts yeah. have more problems than the ones who don't. No, no, I, let's let's now, bring in Dhirendra and Samir Karabar. We were on the same channels, we were discussing the same point that government should come out with some relief. Now, when there is a relief what of is such the kind where... What is the relief? What is the relief? You are having no... What? You can withdraw relief? more than 24,000. There is no cash. cash. The, the bank doesn't have money. None of my banks have the money. Virendra Kumar, you have it seems like... There is no cash. Somebody took away that cash. No, it is not you alone. No, but the banks are taking their own discretionary power and saying that you can't give me the money. One by one, one by one. I want to hear Virendra Kumar here. The problem is that... Now, who said that? I agree with you. I did not want to know that. This is the panic situation where all this of the customers are coming to... It's like same, you know, like a, I just give a small example. I, see, I am a member of a club okay. where 40,000 people second, are One second, one second. Niranjan just answer these questions. Niranjan Shetty, one second, one second. In a one day, nobody would be able to no, no. make use of that no, no. club. So why have the club? So, see, Niranjan Shetty, Niranjan Shetty, Niranjan Shetty. Even if no. someone has a bank account right now, they are not able to access yeah. what is in their bank account yeah. and what is rightfully theirs yes. post-tax. Yes. Secondly, it is not a crime to not have a bank account. But was the government's move to punish those people who don't have bank See, accounts? I'm, what I'm trying to say was, you can plan in such a way where you can get... See, I myself, no, had, an issue. I myself had an issue of withdrawing the no. uh, money from the bank. I do not no. deny that, but then I have to no, plan it in such a way that either I go okay. to a Dhirindra bank Kumar, at a time... Okay. I let's ask the experts. No, 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 let's that, ask the experts. No, let's ask the experts. Dhirendra Kumar first, Samir Karabar next. No, think, what is the plan? What is the plan that we can do, Dhirendra Kumar? You know, I am fine with the demonetization provision. You know, you can be, uh, you can do absolutely nothing because, you know, this is gross mismanagement. I am fine with demonetization. I am all for demonetization. But, you know, Provide for something that you have promised that I can withdraw 25, 4,000 rupees in a week. I should be able to take a small part of my salary which will be credited to my bank account because that is my essential cash requirement. I, I really can't be completely digital overnight. I can't, you know, there are essential expenses and this... And there is absolutely no accountability. Who is responsible for this? Why 100 rupee notes are not there? Why it was not, you know, calib ATMs not calibrated? Who is maintaining, ma monitoring the logistics of the m money moving around? Mm. I, w I would like to have this answer because, you know, I have been put, put to difficulty. I am, you know, I can't be visiting bank five times a day to figure out that, you know, do we have... First, we were, you know, uh, to find out whether there is enough cash or not. Is it a good day to actually turn up? Uh, can I actually get an access to my own money? Is ATM, you know, uh, 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 stuffed with cash right now? I think, you know, something needs to be done. I don't see a sense of urgency. I think in the whole jingoism of demonetization, which I fully support, uh, I think somebody has just completely lost the plot on how it is to be executed. Some, is somebody bothered? Is there a task force which is, which is giving us report that this is what will happen right. over the course of day? over the course of day and Samir, weeks. Samir Kanabar, Samir Kanabar, answer this question for me. If I'm not able to access my own bank account right now, is there... Niranjan Shetty says, you should think up solutions. Do you have a solution to offer us as an expert, Samir? What, is, what solution could there be to this problem? Every day, Samir, the government is playing cat and mouse with us. Every day there is a new announcement where we feel like we're being caught. 
Yeah. Deposit your money, now we're going to tax your money. The tax rules, let's be very frank, are very ambiguous and they're not clear. We're still trying to get complete clarity on what those amendments mean. It feels like the goalpost is changing every day. And what we're supposed to be entitled to, which is 24,000 rupees a week, we have no access to. What we're supposed to be entitled to, 2,500 rupees from our ATMs, we have no access to. If you change 2,500 rupees to 4,000 rupees, and there's still no money in the ATM, it makes absolutely no difference. What is the solution to this problem? So, again, just let's step back and reflect. It appears to me that there is a consensus and there was a statement made that there is no denial on demonetization. Everybody respects and accepts that. The challenge is that does government have a war room which works 24 by 7 mm. to address this situation? Second point is that if you look at an introspect that there was a Jandan Yojana which was obviously announced by government quite some time back and people were encouraged to open and I think many people have opened bank accounts. Even if you look at skill development and literacy, government is doing enough to educate people that not only on the, uh, how the work has to be executed, but the soft skills that how you have to manage your cash, how you have to manage your investment. Mr. Sami, you know, my point here is, I agree with what you're saying that the government spoke about, you know, opening Jandan Yojana and you know, all bank accounts and everything. But what is the point in having a bank account when there's no money in that bank? There's, yeah. there's no money in the bank. The government does not have enough new notes to put in those banks. So why have an empty bank? There's what is the point in having an empty bank account? Chandan, because all the money that you deposited well. there I I was, is not there yeah, to be like, taken I again. Agree. I was now, coming to that. You cannot withdraw your own money. The panel That's the whole point. point. In the past three weeks, we have not been able to withdraw even 24,000. I have not been able to withdraw even 24,000. I have not been able to. I have personally, see, there are not a single person who must not have been withdrawn 24,000. So let's assume, a let's assume time. Niranjan Shetty, if there is, if, if if on this panel people were able to withdraw 24,000 rupees once in three weeks. Once in a week. Once in a week. Anyone here? Okay, here's the open challenge. Myself, Anyone in this panel withdrawn. who has withdrawn 24,000 rupees no, every week for the last three weeks? That. No. Debbie, no, hang on. Debbie Goenka. Uh, no, Debbie Goenka is, is an independent voice. Come with me. Debbie I, Goenka. I, I come with you me. must be having more cash in your hand. No, no, you but come with me. Debbie Goenka is the independent voice. Debbie Goenka. Hang on, hang on. Gentlemen, gentlemen, hang on. Debbie Goenka. I was able to withdraw 20,000 rupees, but I have not been able to spend the money because it was all given to me in 2,000 rupee notes, and I haven't found a single person who's willing to. Accept a 2,000 rupee note. Okay, let me so get it. Let me get it. Viewers, Niranjit Shetty, one second, one second. I need to understand. In spite of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying that we are going to a digi digitalization and cashless society, we know I yesterday paid my reliance bill in on the rupee. How can you okay. not? We okay. have been paying right. the MTNL bill. Let's get, let's I get fail voices to in. understand Suman a person Kumar. like Mr. Goenka has not been able, he's having 2,000 in his hand and he's not able okay. to Suman spend. Kumar is on he the can phone use his debit Punjab. card Niranjan in Shetty, city one like Mumbai. One second. Suman Kumar I is on the phone line from, from Punjab. I would have understood from a rural area. Let's hear about it. Suman Kumar is on the phone line from Punjab. He's called us to share his voice. Tell us, you're on the show. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Yes, Suman. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, my question is to BJP spokesman, Mr. Niranjan Chetty. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Hello. We can hear you. So, Mr. Chetty, uh, uh, I would ask, uh, uh, I would like to ask you a simple question. Yes, Mr. S uh, Mr. Kumar, very yeah. quickly, tell us what your question is. Uh, my question is, K on what basis did the PM? Hello. Suman Kumar, we can hear you. Tell us your question very quickly. Yes, I am, yes, we can I am hear asking ma'am, to the spokesman, K, up to what time did the cash will reach the bank so that the common common person, common man can withdraw his salary? Because day by day, the problem is getting grimmer and grimmer. All right. When can when can we withdraw our salaries? We'll come to that question. Uh, Subramaniam is on the phone line from uh, Kolkata. Subramaniam, you're on the show. Very quickly, tell us what your question is. Hi, good evening to all of you. Good evening. So my, uh, my first pointer to the BJP spokesperson is he compares the demonetization drive with the computation drive by Rajiv Gandhi. Now, I would like to tell him that when that, when that computation drive was made by Rajiv Gandhi, people did not starve. They could get two square... People meters were jobless, day. sir. They, they, they well, could access thanks to the money. No, no, let's hear him out. Here. Let's hear him out. Go on. Please, go on, please, sir. Please, 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 please,
people did not have to stand in queues for hours together, reach the counter, only to be told they don't have cash. People could eat, people could walk around. Only thing they had a problem with the working, that was ironed out. So please don't compare this situation with that situation of, of, of uh, computerization. Secondly, the tax expert on the panel said, no pain, no gain. Well, it's beautiful to hear wonderful caption and a wonderful dialogue, but that is only theoretical. We need to look at the ground reality, what is happening. People are suffering. Now, even if I pay my maid, even if, I, if my maid has a bank account, I transfer the money to her, she has to go and stand in the line for hours together to get that money. And with no surety, that right. if she reaches the counter, she will get her money. Absolutely. Absolutely. The yeah. note, she may not be able to use. Absolutely. Sunil, all right. All right, Supermani. I'll take that question forward. Sunil is on the phone line from Varanasi. Sunil, go ahead. What's your question? My question to Mr. Niranjan is this. Yes. That they have, you know, of course, I am for demonetization, but unfortunately, I surprised BJP with Prime Minister Modi's experience as a, the CM of Gujarat, and he's come as the Prime Minister of India, but his implementation has gone wrong with a lot of high-profile bureaucrats around him, they could not advise him or they could not uh, understand what is he going to do. Implementation is he going to uh, start the demonetization overnight and go for a digital India? Right. Okay, so let's let's put these questions in place. And I like the question that Samir Kanabar also asked. Niranjan Shetty, I'm going to bring that question to you. Does the Prime Minister have a war room right now, a war room of the top minds in the country working on solutions for this problem? That's the first question. And the second question that Suman Kumar asked, which is a very good question, when will we get our money? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to answer whether the war room is there in a place or not. But of course, yes, when a prime minister must have made this statement, he must have understood all kind of aspects when he was, uh, when he declared on the 8th of November. What I want to uh, make a point over here is, everybody is crying about we are not able to take out the cash. Now imagine the amount of cash that was deposit, deposited day before yesterday, it was 8 lakh some 31 crores, right? Hmm. And there was also a withdrawal of more than 3 lakhs crores. Now who has taken away this money? Hasn't the money it's been taken away by the common line, man? I doubt so it. that's what I'm saying, no. So you, what are you trying to compare? Now you are saying nobody's been able to take away the money. So who has taken away those two, two lakh thirty one thousand crores of rupees? No, that that answer has to be given. Going, so everybody in the panel may say, <coughs> I, I have not been here. able to no, there is uh, withdraw my here. money. There is I have not here. been able to withdraw the money. One second. Then I, I withdraw the, the, the money. The problem the here, is it actually reflects great mismanagement. I just no, I would how? like to tell you that you are quoting the right numbers, but we don't have a sense of, you know, uh, what is going on. If assuming that you know 3 lakh rupees has been dispersed from the system and 8 lakh crore has been deposited, a lot of it is in 2000 rupees denomination. 100 rupee denomination is not good enough. Lot of times and you know the supply, we need a continuous flow because you know for every time somebody was taking a lakh of rupees in 1000 rupee denomination, now he needs 10 bundles of you know 10, 10 bundles of 100 rupee denomination. And that is what will enhance and 500 rupee note circulation is nowhere to be seen which is a readily acceptable or it will reduce the pain. So 3 lakh rupee and government had a full knowledge of what is going, what is, what is coming. Government had a very clear understanding that 16 lakh crore has to be, you know 14 lakh crore has to be demonetized which is, for, you know 85% of the currency in circulation of which how much if it is in 1000 rupee and how much of it is in uh, 500 rupee. And that is being substituted by only 100 rupee and 2000 rupee, which has only added to the Absolutely. Injury. And you know, the, the I, argument I, 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 of secrecy I, 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 I doesn't have hold. Have a and if it has no ammunition, no, you tell we will, me we will a lose the war. Person, no, salaried person doesn't use a debit card. The salaried it's person uses the cashes oh, okay. wherever he goes. How, how can you that is what that you're trying to, uh, that is what right. okay. to Let me is. ask you a question, yeah, Niranjan Shetty. You represent absolutely. the restauranters of the if city I of Mumbai. Earn 25, how many rupee, people walk into restaurants to in eat cash. one plate of idli and pay by debit card? See, no, but in the past, this was with I'm, a debit card you are talking machine about the money? before 8th of November. Now everybody's paying by debit card? But today the situation has changed. Everybody's paying by debit card? 
Yes, Have the restauranters paid their my, salaries my, to all of their there staff? There are customers who are coming absolutely with the cash, cash in, but there are also the customers who have been... Six I'm saying Mumbai restaurants pay have been issuing... Okay, let me yeah, tell you, no, let no, me no, tell no, you no, why just, people can't use debit cards. I want the full panel to listen to this, this particular bite that was shot today by our reporter in New Delhi. And it breaks my heart to hear it. Just listen to it and we'll respond to it. Just listen to it. I'm going to take our dead body. ले जाएंगे अपना कहां कैसे ले जाऊंगा कंधे पर ले जाऊंगा या रिक्शे करके ले जाऊंगा इसे आपसे मतलब नहीं सर बात भिजवा नहीं सकते हैं तो आप इतना दावा मेरे ऊपर नहीं रख सकते हैं तो दो तीन घंटे के बाद सर पता नहीं क्या उनको आया कहे कि 200 रुपए दे दो हम कहे सर बता रहा हूं 80 रुपए जब मेरे पास है तो मैं 200 दूं कहां से फिर लास्ट में हार मान के उन्होंने कहा ठीक है तो मैं भिजवा दे रहा हूं तो एक लड़के से कहे कि ले जाके इनकी डेड बॉडी छोड़िया ये पार्क में सर पार्क में मैंने रखवाया यहाँ पे जगह कहाँ सर थोड़ी थोड़ी जगह तो मैं पार्क में दो दिन रखाया और दो दिन बैठ किया बैंक से पैसे के लिए तो मेरा तंग ही आ गई सर अगर बैंक मुझे पैसे दे दिया होता तो मैं कल दास संस्कार कर लिया होता साढ़े तीन बजे तमाम हल्ला दंगा होते होते मेरे लड़के को उन्हें पंद्रह हजार रुपया मैंने उन्हें दिया फिर मैं आज साढ़े आठ बजे यहाँ से ले जाके सर दास संस्कार करवा के अभी अभी आ रहा हूँ There was a person in the city of Delhi, in our national capital, who was not able to cremate his mother Absolutely. because he did This not is... have the currency. He left her body, Direndra Kumar, in a public worse. park for two days. He left her body in a public park for two days. And we should, we should ask ourselves, as a country that was completely outraged by the video of the man who had to carry the body of his, of his wife because he couldn't afford to, uh, to hire someone to move the body, here we have people who have the money who can't access their money to perform the last rites of their family members in our national capital, Virendra Kumar. It's an appalling situation that we're in. And now... The excuse of secrecy no longer applies. Absolute nonsense. You know, the, in a in a in a. I this is absolute nonsense because you know no BJP the whole the nation day. supports demonetization. The whole nation opposes black money. The real problem is that I don't I haven't heard any plan that what is happening to the to, uh, what is happening to the money. Where is how is it moving? How much money will move where? I need a plan. I need I need total transparency here. I, do, I really can't re really be roaming around in the city only to find out that people are queuing up and that the ATMs don't have the cash. If they have the, and if somebody is able to access the cash, it is 2,000 rupee denomination. This is absolute nonsense. And you know, thinking that overnight everything will be digitized, eh, I'm sorry, I can't buy six bananas from a, from a Thela Gadi and pay him by Paytm and pay him by debit, debit card. What happens to all those people? There we go, Inka. I want to ask a very simple question. If the government is serious about demonetization, why are they printing 2,000 rupee notes? Mm. What are people going to do with these 2,000 rupee notes? And uh, exactly the point that was made earlier, how do I pay somebody yes. 30 rupees and in the market the with a debit card? secrecy needed for, you know, printing more 100 rupee notes? See, the truth is the secrecy, the secrecy happened in the first week, the second week, the third week, but 22 days later, we knew payday was going to happen on the first of the month. Where is the reason for secrecy to not be prepared? Rakesh is on the phone line from Pune, after which I want Nasser Hussain to respond. Rakesh from Pune, you're on the show. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I would like um, to support the demoralization. But the problem is, today due to this, I have to sack 40 workers from my factory because we don't have any orders with us. Not only me, I know many industries this way who have sacked the workers out. How are they going to feed themselves? Just can one explain me this? And how am I going to pay my cost? Rak Rakesh, cost Niranjan cost. Shetty just said use your debit card. Please explain to him why using your debit card is not a solution for someone who runs a factory like you. It's not possible. Today morning when I went to the market, I needed a plastic bag of 100 rupees. He was not ready to accept. He told we don't have the machine. We have applied for the machine. My bank is telling them it will take more 15 days because they don't have enough machines. So what should we do? We should close our factories? As it is, we don't have orders to, from today. We don't have any orders to process. Our factories are closed. Rakesh, what do you That's manufacture in your factory? We manufacture small paper cups which are used for the sweets and the muffins. Bakery industry. 
Dhananjan Chetty, a fellow trader from the food industry, respond to what he's saying. 40 mm. people Sweet. in Rakesh's oil factory have lost their jobs. What, mm. what, what long-term gain are we going to show these 40 people? No, no, I fail to understand the picture that you are, all of my friends and colleagues are trying to put up before me or to the national, on the national channel, that none of the people are having neither 100 rupees, neither 50 rupees, neither 20 well, rupees, neither 10 Niranjanji, rupees. They are I fail to understand. The facts. They, they you, are not you having are all this them. kind of smaller denomination. That you, means whatever you Narendra Modi had planned from to the demonetize right the concept now. was in the right direction. No, where, that I mean, where is the planning? The, no, that's what I'm trying. Where this is, is the, the planning? planning? If you are, okay, you, if you why are, don't you answer you about, the, uh, about the person the who planning? could not perform his, the final rights of his mother? Why don't you answer that question? Talk about business later. Let's talk about something that hits everybody's sentiments here. Why don't you answer that question? Let's not... No, why no, not? No, no, why, why not? not? Why not? Why not? That's an important why do you want to avoid that question, Dhananjan Shetty? That's an important Shetty. part of life. Why it was a heartbreaking story. No, 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 how is this? You are trying to point out. Nasir Hussain, Nasir Hussain, coming to you. The political party doesn't mean we are politicizing. No, no, what I'm trying to say is... Nasir Hussain. No, this is not... No, no, no. What you are trying to say... I'm sorry, Shetty, you're not in effect. You are like this and to suit your own... Nasir Hussain, Nasir Hussain, we've not... I'm not... And this is a great, great point that the leader has picked up. To make that see, you have not been able see, I want to, to I want to react you are having I, I want to react to what the BJP spokesperson has where are the rupees BJP spokesperson has commented where is the 20 rupees note where is the 20 rupees note where is the 10 rupees note Nasir Hussain as it vanished in the thin air one second the three independent people on our panel Dhirendra, Samir and Debbie have asked excellent questions where is the plan where is the war room where was the preparation Nasir Hussain we have not got answers for any of those questions Uh, uh, Sifa, I wanted to come in a uh, uh, long time back. I think uh, the other independent panelists uh, 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 were already uh, asking the same question which I wanted to ask. I just want to react. See, I have been almost there on not some channel or the other from, angry. 8th of, uh, from 9th of uh, this month till today. To, yeah, okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. From 9th of uh, November till this day, I've been there on almost all the channels every day. See, I didn't find one B any BJP spokesperson giving such an absurd statement or uh, absurd argument, telling if the person is not having a bank account, what can the government do? Mr. Niranjan Shetty, any government, whether Mr. it is your Dr. government or my Dr. government, Nasir Hussain, you have to take you, why don't you the ground reality, yourself the data, years the, down the, the line facts into consideration. That people you are can't, not you can't blame accounts. the people. Don't you feel you that can't you blame the people. Yeah, that you can't blame the people. The and bank nationalism, you are, your for you your bank information, bank kind of nationalism. Brought Congress the government in the banking system. Mentioning that people are, are not having a bank account. Isn't it shameful system? on a national channel? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. You are excluding the common man from the banking That's system. That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you the question. Let Why me, my countryman is not having a, a bank account? Me, There's no reason to punish that. Numerics perspective of the whole problem. You rule this country. And my, you are claiming... One second, one second. Let's not yell at each other. Let's calm down. One second, let's calm down. Let's calm down. I want to refocus this panel. So, if... I want to refocus this Nani, panel. Nani, because, 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 because the common man is not there, you go ahead and you say that is his problem. Yeah, in and his put the common man You are speaking no, of the common man. Have Niranjan, you ever lived up to the common man's expectations? You, you focus, on the, the focus on the problem. Focus on the problem, gentlemen. No, no, the I problem is, I'm not the problem is. For so many years, you have seen the rules of Congress and NCP. You suck 86% of the current people. I think the irony, one second, Niranjan Shetty, Nasir Hussain, one second, one second, one second, one second. I want everybody to come. Down the, the truth is, we went to war against black money without a plan yes. and without a war room. Which look, which okay, no, 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 Shetty, no, no, I'm not going to no, let this discussion. No, no. I'm not going to let this discussion crumble into a, a, a argument between two political parties. Yeah. This is not what this no. is about. There are real people facing real problems. Let's focus on the problem at hand. Clive, no, yeah, no, no, I, I have, have two things to say. Mr. Nasir Hussain, I have two things to say. Can I just say it, please? One second. One second. Nasir Hussain, very quickly. No, no, no. Please, please wait. Let me, let me finish and you can answer. Okay, Nasir Hussain. Let me Nasir finish Hussain. and you can answer. See, my point is, 
See, you have sucked 86% of the currency that was there in circulation and you have deposited in the bank. Now you are asking the common man, hey, why are you not using 10s and 20s and 50s and 100 rupees? That is only 14% of the total currency. Only 14% yeah, of the is total currency. 15%. You should have Absolutely. prepared properly. You should have enough number of 100 rupees, 50 rupees, 20 rupees notes. There is no cash in the ATM. There is no cash in the banks. Even if I give a check to my maid or my driver, even if that person goes to the bank, there is no uh, cash in the bank. That is the whole problem. As some independent panelists said, nobody is against demonetization. Nobody is against fighting black money. Nobody is against fighting fake currency. Nobody is against fighting terror financing. But everyone in the ground is questioning the way this government has gone about this entire business of demonetization. That is the whole right. issue. Right. Claire, I'll come to you for a second. There's someone on the phone line. Naheen Ashraf is on the phone line. More than 80, 80 lives have lost. Yeah. Now, one second, one second, sir. Naheen Ashraf is on the phone line from Noida. I want to hear what she has to say. And then I will go, I, I will give know, everyone on the know, panel. You are now, Hello. your Prime Minister is not Hello, ready to go evening, to the parliament to answer Hello. this. Hello. One second, Nasir Hussain, one second. Na Hello. Naheen, go ahead. He is, Hello, trying, evening, he is trying to, uh, he is trying to debate or discuss Hello, the parliament from evening. the private can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Naheen, just one second. Can Nasir Hussain, one now? second. Yeah, go ahead. Go uh, ahead, uh, My name is Naheed Darshav. My husband was in Air Force, Air Commodore of Russia. No, even five till five today, years back. the Prime Minister I'm of the country. I'm absolutely alone in my house. He was alone in this country. One second, one second, Naheed, one second. He has not come to the parliament every month. One second. Mr. Nasir Hussain, we have a viewer on the phone line. We want to hear what she has to say. And then I'll come back to you to respond to that Naheen Ashraf, we can hear yeah. you now. Go ahead, please. Ma'am, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, my husband was in Air yeah, Force, yeah. Air Commodore of Russia. He passed away five years back. I'm Gee. staying alone. Children are outside India. And I get my pension every month or fourth of month. So last month when I draw, took the money also from the bank and it uh, was declared that, you know, I have to give it back to the bank. So from ninth onward, I'm without money in the house. Every second day I go to bank. He says, ma'am, kal aap zaroor aajana, paisa mil jayega. When I go there, stand in the line. After half an hour, he says, ma'am, koi paisa nahi hai, khatam ho gaya hai. You know, today also I came with, this is the fifth time I have come back without any any money. This is Kanra Bank, Noida. Niranjan Shetty. Can you imagine, can you imagine my plight and this baby? Absolutely, this is, this is a sickness, it is a... Complete absence of any plan. How have you whatsoever? been managing, Naheen, Naheen Ashraf? How have you been managing to run your house for I'm the last 22 less, days? I'm penniless, my maid. In, uh, firstly, I used to go by car, but there's no petrol now. Now, every time I have to take an auto or something which uh, almost 100 rupees per day. You know, going to bank and coming back, exhausted <laughs> in this weather. My age is 60 plus, 65, 66 years old I am. And BJP people, they are very comfortable. I'm so sorry to tell you. The way he talks, as if he has no sense, he has no sympathy. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. All right, all right, all right. Let's focus, let's focus on the problem. And this is something that I'm extremely distressed about. Senior citizens who are being made to line up across the country. And I, I don't understand when we inconvenience our senior citizens. Senior citizens who've served as bank employees, as teachers, as railway employees, who have served our country who are now in their 60s, in their 70s, in their 80s, made to stand in line to access their own money. We should be ashamed as a system that we're not able to look after them better. Diranjit Shetty, what response will you give Ms. Ashraf, who's on the phone line right now? No, I do not know her uh, actual position. She may be right. I am not denying. I uh, think that is highly I do, not, I do not disagree that there is she some kind of... Arrogance on no, of there is some the kind of problems and the pain our, my, uh, our Indian citizen having. Absolutely, you understand the concept behind this. Now, if you say... I, no, I will respond to you, Mr. Goenka. What I am trying to say, you again and again are mentioning about the maid. What is the amount of money that you are paying to the maid? 
Are it doesn't matter, Niranjan Shetty. You can't do it. Matter. Matter. No, exactly. it doesn't the name matter. Of May, no, 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 no. It's your issue. It's their livelihood. That's what I'm but trying to say. The political being parties being insensitive. I'm sorry, Niranjan Shetty. I have a question, man. Clyde Castro. Clyde Castro. Hold on, man. No, no. That such people are, you know, in a so much. Come on, Niranjan Shetty. Okay, okay. Let's look at this way. Then who has withdrawn this all? Do you should tell us. The government should know who has withdrawn. Yeah, tell me. The government should know who has withdrawn. Filling the petrols in 500 do you want denominations. The, you do you, you want? Are you what? No, from where we, this money is coming from? Bank employees have this not has been, been allowed. Paid. You know, uh, Clyde, Clyde, I'm going to come Annie, to you. And, you and want, do you want your government to starve no. star without? That's why I'm no, saying. No, so it is allowed. You're no. questioning your so own government. Is, yeah, that's what I'm. It is allowed. That's so why, why are you questioning your government. Then? So don't you think that there are money till? Today it is in circulation yeah. and your argument okay. that we are let's, not let's, been let's able take to his use our money. I have a question. I'm That's sorry, I'm Niranjan say. Shetty, Niranjan your Shetty, you are in money. complete denial. Yeah. of the problem. I think that the, in, in order to the solve problem, the problem, we have to first accept ground, that there is a problem. Ground, there is a Let's problem. first I'm accept that there is a problem and it's extremely grave. Problems. He had no solution, then he, no solution. he only criticized people Clyde, who yeah. are pointing out the ground reality. No, you are, I, you are, you are, are the you finance ministry. Have you been in the government? You all have started this, so you are supposed to give solutions. If I had been in the government, the gentleman who was a viewer, he said that I should not compare the computerization as well as the No, no, so I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. So why not? My point Why is, not? Weren't the people that time at that point of time jobless? No, my I remember so many people who were jobless. Now today, how does that make today? How does that make today okay? We should, yes. yes. we should have learned from that mistake. If we believe you, we should have learned from that mistake. Money is something which touch, which touches every person. See, money is something which touches every you know, person. All this talk about what are you speaking? One second, one second, one second. One second. Demonetization to compute, the computerization. That whatever he is trying to figure out and bring before then, can you compare this channel, demonetization to I think he should introspect before speaking. One second, Niranjan Shetty. Shetty. Let me just, I mean, one second. Mr. Shetty, Clyde, Mr. Clyde Shetty, Mr. Shetty, Mr. Shetty, let's for a minute buy your argument about 60 years of misrule, 60 years of not doing this, not doing that, they were bad, this was bad, fair enough. You thought you were better than all of them. Hmm. Why have you failed? Did Answer you that question. Who has failed? All the people, the people are calling yes. in. Everybody yes. here yes. believes yes. that you have failed. Yes. Oh, you, what are you saying? Narendra Kumar, one second, one yes. second. Narendra Kumar, has the to? government failed in planning? Have Mr. we gone to failed. war without a plan? <clears throat> See, you all tried let him, let him all answer. You said answer. you say. I don't let him answer. Why are you changing? Not all. You said you failed. Said, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said, I think they haven't planned for it at all. Niranjan you're not listening. No, no, Niranjan Shetty. No, I'll tell you. Talk about the planning No, you're not listening. Listen, gentlemen, listen to each other. This is a discussion. Dhirendra Kumar, Niranjan Shetty wants to know who says the government has failed in implementation, in planning. Yes. Has this, has this plan been a failure? You know, fail. I find this argument a ridiculous one. You fail when you plan for it. I think it is a completely unplanned for thing. Because if you, you know, let's just put the numbers in perspective. 8 lakh crore deposited, 3 lakh crore disbursed, and 85% of the money has to be replenished and recycled in the market. And that has to be done in, you know, 60 days or, you know, less than 60 days, about 50 days. And in those 50 days, you need to really maintain a target of dispersal through different point of dissemination that you have. And if assuming that 30-40% 30, 30, of it is black money which will not turn up, even assuming that, then you have to prepare for it. If we are at the half milestone and we find that we are short of money, banks don't have the money, and 85% of it has to be replaced, assuming 20-30%, Look at this 3 lakh crore which has been dispersed, of which assuming that one third of it is, is in denomination of 2,000 rupees which is you know, partially useful, only 2 lakh crore to be, sub, to be substituting or doing the job of you know, something which will, be, which will require 7 lakh crore. So you are just, uh, just at one third of the supply of money. It has to be looked at in a very transparent, in a, in a very unemotional, objective manner that this is a yes. task in hand. Yes. It has to be done professionally. And I think it has not been planned at all in the first place. So failing does not arise. All right, Mr. let me Kumar, let me just. I think you answered the query what Mr. Devi Goenka was asking. How why the two thousand notes were uh, issued? Now you answered yourself. How has he answered it? What he, he answered? answered. You heard his uh, what he spoke. Okay. He I... said there is a time gap of sixty days or sorry fifty days within which we had to disburse that certain amount. So the answer itself lies within that. 
What are you talking you about? No, what, 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 the amount of money that has to go back to Those the people. Those 2,000 rupee notes, let me point out to you, are completely I useless because you? nobody will accept them anymore. Tender tender it's a legal tender. Hey, but yeah, it's I, a legal tender. How can you say it's a useless? Nobody. It's nobody a, will. A I tried tender. this morning. Nobody will take that 2,000 rupee note. No, madam, change chahiye. So change laayenge kaha se, Mr. Niranjan Shetty? Again, I'm coming to the basic core question. Do you mean to say that None of the Indian people are having 100 rupees note, 50 rupees notes, 20 rupees yes, note. Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. That is exactly what I'm telling you. Yes, that is only 15% of the money. That is only 15% of the money. That's the problem. You have, Niranjo Shetty, let's point out and let's be honest about the fact. I that Okay, okay. What I'm, I asked the panel, who has not withdrawn? I have not withdrawn. I have not withdrawn. I told you. I have not withdrawn. I have become dead suddenly. Niranjo Shetty, I have not withdrawn. Past three weeks, y'all have not got more than 24,000 each. No. I have a very, I have a very demanding job. I do not have the time to stand in line. In spite of my tightest schedule, I was able to withdraw. I went with a check to HDFC. I was able to withdraw. I do agree today. For the last six days, HDFC Bank, yes, in, Kamla Mills has not, not received cash. ICICI was not there able to service. There are some banks which are not HDFC giving. Bank. I do agree. There are, there are many some banks, banks like that. I am, I am personally taking up the issue with the RBI right. government. Okay, which let's, I am okay. getting the uh, appointment okay. there, uh, within a day or two. Okay, Niranjan Shetty, I do I'm not going to, disagree. One second, that, one second, one second. If you, if you disagree with what we are saying, let's hear from real viewers. One second. I agree. What Let's hear. You said I'm blowing, blowing up this problem. No, no. You said I'm blowing up this problem. These are callers, and there are lots of phone calls coming in. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second, one second, one second, one second. Let's hear the viewer. Gulistan from Mumbai is on the phone line. Nasir Hussain, one second. Nasir Hussain, we'll hear this caller, and then I'll come straight to you. Gulistan is on the phone line from Mumbai. Gulistan, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, okay, good evening. I just wanted to ask you, what provisions have they made for the senior citizens? We are senior citizens. My husband is partially blind. He cannot use the Paytm and ATM. One. Secondly, two hours from Bombay, there is a place called Karjat. You know, we live in a senior citizen place. There is no network over there. You know, it takes two uh, days to download a video or something from uh, from WhatsApp. You cannot even access phone calls over there, you know. How do these people just suddenly, uh, you know, expect us to go cashless? You know, what do we do about that? Have they ever realized what kind of problems the poor senior citizens are um, facing? Gurisan, thank you for calling us. And this is distressing. I'm extremely distressed when I receive phone calls from senior citizens who should be treated with care and who should be planned for better. People like hey, our this parents. this is not the only thing. You know, I, as I was telling you, I just need to, you know... Yes, go ahead, Dhirin. I just need to, you know, talk about the earlier example. Three days ago, three days ago, hey, you, I as I was telling you that the government does not have a plan. And I will tell you, I will give you another evidence. Three days ago, you were doing the show and the justice, retired justice from Bombay said that the courts are not taking court fee which is a government treasury. That actually makes me think that they just didn't think harder. They just didn't plan for anything. They just got up and did it one day. It's lack of planning, Nasir Hussain. More evidence of lack of planning 22 days after the announcement. That was enough time yeah. for this government to plan. <coughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I've been saying this continuously. This is a plan by one man. He's implementing a by implementation by one man. Uh, and uh, the one man is patting his back. So everything is being done by the one man. So that one man is not coming to the parliament and not facing the questions in the parliament where he is actually accountable to in a democracy. That is, that is at one, one part. Second, I just want to tell the BJP uh, spokesperson, see, every time this government fails, they come up with this argument, ridiculous argument that the Congress has, Congress and the other parties have not done anything in the last 65, 67 years. So we have a right to fail. So I agree that in the past 67 years, the white revolution, green revolution was brought in by Mr. Modi. The IT revolution, automobile revolution and the telecommunications revolution was done by Mr. Modi. Pakistan, against Pakistan, two battles were fought and won, two wars were fought and won. That was again by Mr. Modi. All these surgical strikes in the past 20 years were done by Mr. Bo Modi. This, 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 uh, dev uh, this underdeveloped colonial state was brought to 
Being right, right. Okay. The, okay. okay. You made your point. Being you made your point. You made your point. Expanding Nasir economy Hussain. in the world. But that a was common man Mr. does Modi. not have an no, account till today. Is done by Mr. Modi. No, but why but is a common now? man does not have an account no, till today. And people who have accounts can't withdraw their money. Yeah. Isn't it? That's a very good point. Nasir, uh, but a you know, common man till uh, today, in spite of the Neeraj Shetty, tell me one thing. Was this a war on black money or was this a war on people who don't have bank accounts? Who are you punishing here exactly? We are not punishing. You're punishing people who are feeling punished. Who are you punishing? Nothing, not at all. Who is the target of this war? Who is your target? Dr. Nasir Hussain is mentioning about Prime Minister Modi not coming and facing the parliament for his kind information he has hasn't done any kind of coal scam. He hasn't done any coal scam like what the previous Prime Minister had done, Mr. Nasir Hussain. I think when you delve into politics like this, you are insulting the people who have called us. You are insulting Gulistan, you are insulting Nahi, you are insulting Rakesh who called us. You are refusing to acknowledge. Oh, come on. Take the point away. Let's talk on the point. did not die. Let's look at the farmers did not die. I think the law of the land presumes that everybody is innocent until proven guilty, but I think uh, the current situation seems to be that all of us tax-paying citizens with bank accounts who can't access our own money are being, are being treated like, like they're guilty. Samir, Samir Kanabar, people who have salaries, salaried people, are the taxpayers of this country. They carry this country on their shoulders. Why are they being treated badly? Last word to Samir Kanabar. So again, uh, I mean, just to again reflect back, then I still uh, like to take uh, to statistics that, as rightly mentioned again uh, on this panel, that almost 85% of the currency has been withdrawn. And the statistics, at least what I have been told is mm. that it takes around 125 days mm. to print as much currency to bring it into the system. So obviously government was not naive to it. Government knew. Uh, and any government or any policy okay. maker going into this would know. So, so the it was known. So knew that this pain would be inflicted. Yeah, it, this it, kind of pain would be inflicted on people. And people would not be able to cremate their parents. That old women will not be able to access their own money. That seniors would not be able to access their own pensions. Dhirendra Kumar, final word. Dhirendra Kumar has been an investment expert, an entrepreneur, and someone whose advice is taken very seriously in this country. Dhirendra Kumar, either the government knew and decided to go ahead, or the government did not know and worked with a plan. I don't see a third option. No, actually, I'm, <clears throat> you know, the, <clears throat> we are actually, you know, the, the government should be humble enough to say that, you know, the whole country is supporting demonetization. They are standing in the queue. They owe an explanation what is going on. They should actually share their plan, how and when the money will move and where. You know, we have a prime minister who tells you everything. What are they doing about it? Have they just deputed us, you know, some, some person in finance ministry to look after a particular region? That will not help me. I want to know how much money is moving from which securities printing press to, to which yes. all places. I know the log right. I want to right. know the logistics plan. All right, I have if to wrap up I'm this hungry, discussion. I just want I to point to out a couple of where things. Where the food has yes. reached. Where is the, where is the explanation? Where is the information? We want information in this day and age when we are talking about digital India. Tell us where the money is. Tell us when the money is going to come in. Where is the RBI governor? Why aren't we hearing more from the RBI governor? Where is the information from the RBI? This sort of irresponsible flipping and flopping that we're hearing from the RBI is just making things worse. We need a clear form of communication of a plan, of a war room, of who's in charge. And most, it's most importantly, who's responsible for what's happening in our country right now? Stay with Magic Mix now. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button.
You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.